Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I am here with a Alhambra fragrance that I've really been enjoying lately. And when I show you the bottle, you'll probably know what it is a clone of from the house of Mason Alhambra. It's a bean. Yeah, look at that YSL bottle you're looking at right there. Even the cap they nailed. Um, I could probably interchange this with a cap from the YSL line. Well, maybe not. Anyway, this is going to be a clone of Baby Cat from YSL. And I'll read you what they say the notes are on this. And this is from um, Fragflex. It's more of a paragraph. It says Palo Santo Wood. I'm going to skip through Palo Santo Wood, smoky, woody notes, earthy notes. Let's see. But when you go to look up the notes of Baby Cat, you're going to get pepper, LME, Olivanum, saffron, bourbon, vanilla, suede, and cedar. What is this going to give you? This is going to give you a smoky vanilla. Um, you'll probably smell suede. I think that that's like kind of the one of the bigger notes in there, but it's a smoky vanilla with that kind of suede feel. That's what you're going to get out of this. Yeah, you'll smell the pepper. It's not strong. It's not off putting. It's not like in a lot of other fragrances. It's I want to say perfect, but I've also really been in love with this fragrance since I got it. Now, here's the late dry down right here. Yeah. Um, honestly, guys, there's not a whole bunch to say. Kind of like a smoky vanilla. You're going to get some pepperiness in that suede. It's smooth. It's got just enough sweetness. And I have to be so honest, they did a fantastic job with this fragrance. I got this in a haul of like, I think six bottles. This is probably one of my top two, if not my top one. It smells so good. Um, it's really hard not to like it. So if you're in the market for something in the baby cat realm, this is the second clone I've smelled from, um, the second clone I've smelled of baby cat. I like this one more. I think the notes are very well balanced. Again, the pepperiness, the vanilla, the suede, and that kind of like smoky vibe. Perfect, perfect balance. Honestly, they did such a good job. This has no right to be this cheap. Performance. It is not a screamer by any means. Um, you're going to get a full work day. You'll probably get between eight and nine hours, possibly up to 10 hours. However, it's going to project best in the first, I would say hour and a half to two hours. But when I say project best, you're going to get one to two feet. This has like a more intimate scent bubble. To be fair, I don't think that this is one that I'd want to be bursting off the skin. Um, and I'll tell you why when I talk about the occasions in which I feel is appropriate to wear this. I think that this has good performance for what it is. Um, I have never, I've only smelled the original. I, I've never had like a sample of it. So like I was never able to test the performance of it. So I can't tell you if it's better or worse. I can tell you for how much I paid, I'm more than happy with this performance. So again, you're going to get like pretty decent performance, pre pretty decent projection in the first about hour and a half, two hours. Again, maybe one up to two feet, really no more than that. Um, and then it's going to sit a little closer to the skin. You're going to get between eight and nine, possibly eight and 10 hours full longevity. Uh, I will also say this, I don't spray much and I do not spray my clothes. So if you spray your clothes, you'll definitely get more than that. Um, but if you're like me and you just do like about five sprays on skin, that's probably what you'll get on hydrated skin. Cause I've also sprayed it, um, out of the shower before I put lotion and it does not last that long at all. So keep that in mind. If you're not spraying on like hydrated skin, you're going to get a lot less, especially now that it's getting cold, your skin is going to suck up anything you put on it. So Decent performance. Um, I would say average to slightly above average. Uh, I think this house, it's a, that's, pr this is probably on par with the Alhambra house, slightly above average in terms of who can wear it. I think absolutely anybody, but I, without putting an age range on it, this is probably going to appeal to a, an older crowd. I don't think that anyone that's too youthful is going to like kind of like that suede vanilla. It's not super sweet. It has just enough sweetness, um, but it's not super sweet. It smells so good. Um, I'm going to spray the opening real quick. Little reminder. I really do like this bottle too. It's really simple and it looks like the YSL bottle and I don't know if they're going to change the bottle again, but they've been changing the name. So we'll see. 
it has like this like kind of bourbony opening and I really like that. It's a really good fragrance. Anyway, I feel like I could go on and on because I've really loved wearing this. Um, this is a fall winter fragrance through and through. Again, you probably, it's gonna probably appeal to a more mature audience. No, no gender on this at all. I mean, I don't think Baby Cat has one either. They just, if you wanna smell good, this is what you wanna wear. Um, probably 25 plus. I wanna throw that out there, maybe less if you're really into scents like this, but probably not. This is a date night scent for sure. You want to dress this up. This is a really sexy scent to me. So probably not going to dress it down too much. You absolutely can. But when I say dress down, like nothing raggedy. Like we've talked about this before on this channel. This is definitely not a scent that I would go raggedy, even though like, you know, it's a really inexpensive fragrance. Like you should be able to, you know, pull it as a daily driver, but this isn't exactly daily driver material unless it's like fall, winter, and your typical outfit is not like, you know, an errand running outfit. Um, yeah, I have errand running outfits, that's for sure. But I think that the bang for buck on this is incredible. This gets you compliments. Now, people need to be like in your kind of more intimate circle. So when I was greeting a friend, he was just like, I don't know what you're wearing, but I need to know. And I was like, that's cool. He was my fragrance buddy. So I pulled it out of my backpack because we were meeting up and usually I bring like four or five things for him to smell anyways. Um, he said it was really, really good. I think they completely outdid themselves with this one. And this is in the Alhambra range. So typically they're under $30. I bought it from Fragrance Buy. That's where I've been hauling all of my fragrances from lately. I will link it down below. And if I find it anywhere else for a comparable price, I'll link it down below there as well. This, if you like a smoky vanilla and you know you like a smoky vanilla because the Baby Cat DNA is definitely not for everybody. When I smelled the Baby Cat DNA the first time, I didn't care for it at all. Now that I'm really getting into these vanillas, now I like it. So know what you like before you order this because I don't think this is going to be for everybody. But in that $25 range, you cannot miss if you know that you're into something like this. I absolutely love it. If you've tried this, comment down below. Let me know what you think. As always, remember to like this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop another video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!